I've changed to the GST Euronym setup. Yep, got it. What a lovely fish. After two successful days of fly fishing on the smaller Taupo rivers, we decided to take on the mighty Tongariro. Encouraged by our success on the swing the previous day, the call was made to go Trout's Bay only on the upper river. I've got the OPST Micro Skagit Rod and the OPST Commando Smooth on there. Lewis has got his V-top with the Trapper Creek Reel and a OPST Commando Smooth on there as well and he's going to do it single-handed. Right, so we're just going to swing our way down. Lewis is going to start down there. Oops, I hit him on the head. I'm just going to start up here and work my way down behind him. I had a couple of grabs and that's about it. As nice as that was, we got nothing. So back to the cars and reassess the plan. So we just stopped at the uh, Delta Coffee at the bridge pool, sausage rolls. He stole my lamb and mint pie. And uh, we got our first fish. You always get a chocolate fish with your uh, coffee. So that's the first fish we don't get any like we're having this morning. And then uh, we're gonna stop off on the way back and see what we can find. I've changed to the GST Euronym setup. I'm gonna try and finesse it a bit and see if that can work. Uh, people we've talked to coming out have said it's been a little bit tough today, so we'll see what we can get. Yep, got him, on the swing, downstream, just need to land it, so this is a strong fish, yeah I let it swing behind and got, got it a bit deeper and then trying maybe to get into the snags on the other side, yeah they sit all on the dark bits and you can't see them, Oh, don't go in the snags. Oh, no, 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 stay out of there. Try to bring him down. Confuse him. Yeah, he's trying his best to get under the log. to see which fly he's took taking the top the hot spot pheasant tail got another one huh? yeah i have <laughs> i have oh. no, it's not wrapped yet <laughs> no, not quite yet Yes! Oh, that's a fat fish. Fatty, man. That is a fat fish. Wow. What a lovely fish to the uh, Juris GST Euronym. Fantastic. Now, uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, been a quiet morning, but that's definitely been a really worthwhile fish for the weight. So, okay. Awesome. Let's get this one away. Yes! Nice. Okay, let's see if I can get fish out of my favorite productive little spot again. Make sure I can see another fish in there. That should be better angle for it. Better move for that. Oh, I got him, but I missed him. I struck too hard and I broke the fly off. Ah. Right, I have to try something else very shortly. Okay, retied some different flies.
Yep, got him. Try and keep him out down here. Oh, he took the point. The point beat a tennis ball. It's a great fish, man. Oh, well, not ready yet. Oh, nope. Nope. <laughs> Out of the net. Out of the net. There is still work to be done. Yeah. He's a good fish. He's a really good fish. Hey, yeah, got it. Oh, wow. Nice. Woo. Oh, another fat fish. I tried this flyer a while back. It's a pink beaded caddis pattern based on one of Johnny Gummer's. Another lovely fish, absolutely wonderful. Donna. Donna. Oh, he hit this one away. Lewis is going to jump in there now and see if he can get one. They're just sitting on that opposite side in the glassy bit in there and sometimes through the tail in here. I'm going to attempt the pool. There's a lot of fish in the pool, but I just can't seem to catch them. Did you get a few decent drifts through here? Yeah. Maybe they're just not cooperative today. Yep, got him. Whoa, it is going nuts. This log is a real problem. The, the urine thing can be quite deadly when it's when the fish are difficult. It's a good fish. I came over here for a good camera angle, but it's not a very good net angle. Another good fish, man. Nice. I put so many flies over that same spot. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing rock. Nothing, nothing, nothing rock. You're an infant thing, just sometimes quite deadly. Okay. Another wonderful fish. Very, very happy about that one. Um, Lewis probably isn't so happy with <laughs> He was untangling his flies and I snuck in there. Uh, anyway, bit of a sneaky one that. Willing Lewis to get one. The short sticking it, nice sticking it. Getting it in the right, yeah, that's the spot, that's the one. I sit in those, that glassy water there. I'm very good at two things. Three things, getting them back in snags, untying and untangling. <laughs> and retying. And retying. <laughs> it's from experience. I took someone's fly, I think it's mine. If you're a fly fisherman, you need to learn to tie knots and you'll get lots and lots of practice. So it's a fun part of fishing. So when it drifts, as it drifts further down, drop your rod tip so that the fly sinks a bit more. Because what, what, yeah, now drop your rod tip a bit because what's happening, oh, just not in the, the current, but this is, oh, I see what your problem is because you've got the belly because of the line, you see. See if I can decorate the same tree as Lewis. I'm generally pretty good at that too. Okay. 
Oh no! I snagged that bunch of flies and I pulled them out of the tree. So your flies are now gone. Sorry, I actually hooked that tree and when I pulled it off, the whole, all the flies came off and fell in the water. Oh, got him. Got him. Another flat silver fish. Absolutely lovely. Yes, got him. I just need to get this one out. Yeah. Are you you're on? Nice! Lewis is on double hookup. I'll come and help you in a second. Just keep him on, I'm coming. No, did he come off? Okay. Well, this one, ah, oh, he busted you. I oh, know, that one cool fish, but unfortunately fell hooked. Yeah, okay, it's got someone else's fly in here. Oh, come and look at this. It's got multiple flies in here. It had two eggs, a soft egg and a glow bug in it and some trace and um, yeah both have barbs it's one of the reasons you want to squash your barbs and you know I have forgotten I sometimes forget to but uh, yeah if you lose a fish it come, the, the flies come out this one has had two bits and two long bits of trace get yourselves something like this this is a very simple waste dipper dispenser from other fly fishing that you can get with your orders just um, ask Barry to add one for you. He's got lots. He'll do that, give that for free. And you just wrap your waist dip it around there. And then when you get home, you can see I've collected some other flies and rubbish from the river. And you just snip it off at home and clean it up. And use it again next time. So I've just got one on the zinger. I can see one right in front of me here. It's just a lot of snags. That's probably where I want it. I right, got him. Yeah. I'll just try and muscle him upstream. I'm not getting him any, giving him anything. He's not going to want to come upstream though. He knows where those snags are. I'll try and walk it up here. Okay, maybe you can net it very quickly. Almost at him. Do that again. I'm at the, oh, I'm at the breaking straight of this line. I can't go in any further. Yeah. Oh, busted. Gone. Yeah, that was our opportunity. <laughs> Almost worked. But nearly, we, we, we could have got that one. <sighs> with the loss of this fish, my old jinx of losing fish returned, and soon we were desperate to land another fish before the long drive to Auckland. Yep, got him. Ah, came off. Got him. If I can land this, it'll be great. Ah. Oh no! Lewis had another one and then he spat it. 
Euro nymphing adds another very effective technique to my fly fishing arsenal, giving me more options on the water. I highly recommend giving it a go. It's changed my fly fishing forever. Well, we had a tough morning and then uh, recovered with a bit of nymphing and caught a few fish. So I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, consider liking it and watching another one up there. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>